Let's dive right into another high yield practice question in my video question bank series. A six month old male is brought to the pediatrician by his parents due to developmental delays. Upon examination, the infant is noted to have hypotonia and a cherry red spot on fundoscopic exam. Further history reveals progressive deterioration in motor skills and cognitive function over the past few months. Laboratory studies show elevated levels of GM2 gangliocide. Which of the following mechanisms are responsible for this patient's presentation? A. Nucleotide substitution resulting in a different amino acid. B. Nucleotide substitution resulting in a premature stop codon. C. Alteration of an amount of nucleotides not divisible by 3. D. Retained mRNA intron resulting in an impaired protein function. Or E. Nucleotide substitution that happens to code for the same amino acid. If you want some time to think about this practice question, pause the video now because I'm about to give you the correct answer. The correct answer to this practice question is choice C, alteration of an amount of nucleotides not divisible by three. So what we're talking about in this practice question is Tay-Sachs disease. The vignette describes Tay-Sachs disease as shown in all of the things you see highlighted in red. So a six month old male with developmental delays, symptoms include hypotonia and big buzzword here, cherry red spot, on fundoscopic exam, and then I literally plate this for you by saying elevated levels of GM2 gangliocide. So I hope, even though this is a challenging third order question, that perhaps you got wrong because of problems with the second or third order part of the question. The first order part of the question is simply understanding that in the vignette, I've described somebody with Tay-Sachs disease to you. And so I hope you were at least able to get that correct. If not, you know, just put in some work studying. But Tay-Sachs disease is described almost textbook in this vignette. And so then the question asks you, which of the following mechanisms are responsible for this patient's presentation? And all of these various answer choices, A, B, C, D, and E, describe different types of DNA mutations without giving you the name. So for example, the correct answer in this question is choice C, alteration of an amount of nucleotides not divisible by three. And that description is describing a frame shift mutation. So let's go through the other possible answer choices, that is the incorrect answer choices, and connect what type of DNA mutation we're talking about with the actual description of that DNA mutation as I've typed out as the incorrect answer choices. So choice A, nucleotide substitution resulting in a different amino acid, that is a missense mutation. Choice B, nucleotide substitution resulting in a premature stop codon, that is a nonsense mutation. We've already gone over answer choice C because that's a frame shift mutation and in this question, it's the correct answer. So let's skip to choice D, Retained mRNA intron resulting in an impaired protein function. That is a splice site mutation. And then lastly, answer choice E, nucleotide substitution that happens to code for the same amino acid. That is a silent mutation. So the point of this practice question was first to give you the first order part of the question, which was seeing, do you know what it looks like if the vignette is going to describe somebody with Tay-Sachs disease. The second order part of the question is pairing a certain disease, in this case Tay-Sachs, with a type of DNA mutation. In this case, alteration of an amount of nucleotides not divisible by three. And then the third order and final part of the question, and what makes this question in particular so challenging, is I'm testing your ability to know not only that Tay-Sachs is caused by a frame shift mutation, but you need to be able to understand what a frame shift mutation actually is and select the correct description of that mutation explicitly. So the last part here that I'll just breeze over, there are different types of diseases that are associated with different mutations. 
And so for USMLE and Comlex, what you want to pay special attention to is that answer choice A, missense mutation, that's going to be implicated in sickle cell disease. And so specifically, the different amino acid that you get, you're going from glutamic acid to valine. That happens in sickle cell disease. That's a missense mutation. There's nothing that you really need to know for nonsense mutations. So think, you know, it's nonsense. It's, you don't need to know it. It's just nonsense. We already talked about Tay-Sachs being caused by a frame shift mutation. Again, that's when the number of nucleotides is not divisible by three because you've either inserted or deleted something. And because everything gets read in threes, if you insert one or take one away, you're shifting that frame. So nothing gets read correctly. Answer choice D, your splice site mutations, that is associated with beta thalassemia, some types of cancer, and some types of dementia. And then answer choice E, silent mutation, nothing you need to know for exams. And just like nonsense is nonsense, this is silent, so you can be silent in your brain, you don't have to memorize it. Good luck.